This is Willie Do's story. Human <laughs> hair mats clean oil spills. Why don't big companies use them? Worldwide waste. What a crazy, what a wild. Yeah. Five million views, of course, because it's such a strange visual to see this pile of human hair. Yeah. yeah, this company called Matter of Trust decided to collect human hair that's donated to them to create mats. It looks like a floor mat. Um, right. They have this contraption to take out all the hair and make it like Mo, why does that look on your face, man? <laughs> no, I'm just picturing working there for a second. <laughs> Mo, you don't have to have that look on your face. I don't have a look on my face. I'm just saying that that is a You tell me if really you, I know when you job. have a look on your face. You understand? Uh, if yeah. he had a cut to your camera, everybody in the world yeah, would have known. They would have seen, seen the look on my face. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to play with the human hair. His stink face? Mo, you don't want to play with the human but, hair. But maybe it's for something. Let, let's let Will finish. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's something cool. Go ahead, Will finish. My, my apologies. So, Apparently, human hair is really good at soaking up oil, mm -hmm. and um, they want to use it for oil spills. So they create this contraption here. You see a block of hair that is um, maybe like a pound or two, and they literally soak up oil, and then all you get is clean, fresh water. Well, not fresh, but, uh, but clean. it's fairly clean. But how much... How much hair would you need to clean up a spill like that? Yeah, so they tried. They uh, made some what's called booms, like oh, these okay. really long things that soak up oil. It didn't work, unfortunately, oh, because oh. they were too heavy. But they said that they can use it to um, maybe use it in other applications that are smaller. And that's why they invented the mat. And the mat's not heavy? Uh, they're more accessible. Well, the mat, I mean, you can... Maybe not to clean up the ocean. You, you can but, imagine, right, it's thinner with a larger surface area, so right. it's more likely to sit on top of the uh -huh. surface. They're trying to get some contracts. Um, they said that they got a contract with the military with oil spills, aircraft, Yeah, this like is that. what I was thinking. When you're refueling mm -hmm. in, a, like, in a very environmentally sensitive place and, right. and you spill, because, like, I don't know if you ever do the boating or anything... But if you're in the marina and filling up the gas, they are very sensitive about spilling any. And you're in the water already, yeah. right? Because yeah. it's so the right guy's got to do it. And you, they, the marina could have these mats. Yeah. Wow. And they could put it down around a refueling station. But here's my question. Why human hair? And like, uh, couldn't you use any hair? Like from any no, animal? No, they, they use other animals' hair too. Oh, okay. They, they kind of weave it all together. Oh, okay. But um, something I found interesting was that in Boston, the people who donate it have a lot of redheads there. Mm. And people in California have a lot of blondes. Mm. That's what this person said. Different color matter. Oh, so they weirdly collected data at the same yeah, time. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Of course they would. Yeah. But obviously this is actually quite, uh, quite good for the environment. I feel like Otis, ha Otis has a lot to donate with that. <laughs> yeah, I can start collecting. Oh my god, like he's uh, he's got excess. Yeah, he can spare a little. For sure, he yeah. got quite the coat going on. Yeah.